afternoon everybody and welcome to Grows the Vale, the home of Wheelstone FC. We're here on a bank holiday Monday afternoon, bright and sunny, to watch this National League clash between Wheelstone and their visitors, Dagenham and Redbridge FC. I'm joined this afternoon by a Wheelstone favourite, Max Kretschmar. Max, how are you? Yes, I mean, I'm happy to be here in some ways and not happy to be in others, but yeah, delighted to take my mind off things. Um, yeah, unfortunately picking up an injury on uh, Saturday against all the shot, um, but back soon hopefully, and yeah, happy to be watching and commentating on the game next to you. No, it's nice to have you, Max, and uh, hopefully there's be a bit of an insight from a National League player for those watching today, and we appreciate anyone who has tuned in from abroad or elsewhere. I hope you enjoy the coverage of this. Remember against us last season here, had a tricky game uh, coming on, I think, shooting from multiple angles as Campbell comes forward. Yeah, Campbell carries it forward into Aubier on the right-hand side. Comes inside to Bowen, back out. The interchange passes. Aubier cuts inside into Bowen, who takes a shot and takes the deflection. The goalkeeper is rooted. An early shot has gone in. Charles plays it into near post, into Cook, who holds the ball up, plays it into Barker. Ball gets across, Tavares clears it. Albiero's up with Campbell. It's like ping pong in there. Albiero still has the ball. He tries to play in Barker and it's come out back out to Charles. Charles clips it in. And Albiero gets the opportunity on the head. A bit of open space on the left hand side on the halfway line, Danny in front of the media centre. It's back to Jaden Mundell Swift who plays into Ferguson who can't control but he spins Musa. He's on the edge of the box. Gets it out of his feet. Zeus gets his shot away. He's a little bit frustrated there's an inside left position. He clips it into Mundell Smith. Who goes into Tavon Campbell, who's being pinned by Tavares. Can Campbell get a turn in? Can't quite get the turn and shot away, but it's recycled. Mundell Smith into Clayden. Mundell Smith overlap, one touch, gets the ball across. Campbell can't get his shot away. Obiero come from the right hand side, come across the near post. Mundell Smith plays it tight down the line into Clayden, who makes that run. Gets his cross in the first time. Tavares finds it clear into the header, falls to Bone, comes back out to Clayden. Ferguson plays in Dyer, finds Obiero, shoots, and it takes a deflection. And it frustrately breaks down, and Dagan can go again. Ryan Hill on the right hand side now rather than the left. Oh, that's too easy. Hill gets the ball across, excellent cross from Hill who comes on this right hand side from the left. Five or six in that central midfield area, trying to stop Wills don't get the ball through. Mundell Smith drives it. The back four, but Ling was able to defend it. clayton has got the ball back, comes into first. Ferguson has a shot, excellent save by Justin. Full stretch of what, six foot four, six foot five. It was unlucky, didn't quite have the weight of pass and he comes back into Barker. He finds Dyer again down this left hand side. Bundle Swift finds the channel. Ferguson looking for someone to find. Clips to the back post. Campbell doesn't go with his head, tries to volley, clip it, and doesn't make contact. And it pops out into the midfield. And he's sort of tackling or shutting down. And Cook finds Dyer. This one by Hill. Hill plays into Weston. Hill's quickly up, drags it inside Barker. Has a shot, Barker and Charles between them block it. It's calmly played by Ward. Oh, come. Dyer loses the ball, finds Vincent. Manager claps, encourages his players. The longer it's nil nil, you'd think the longer the manager will be happy and may fancy a goal against the one to play a little bit. Flip, flips rather, clips it into Weston. Weston plays inside into Ling. Ling finds Hill. Hill unleashes left footed. Stone Cook plays inside, finds Ferguson. 
he's hurried into a mistake by uh, Musa and Hill and again Vincent gets it driving forward looking to be positive with the ball plays it into Weston Weston tries to turn Barker but picked up by Dyer Dyer makes a mistake he plays Weston in and Jed Ward is able to defend the one-on-one -on -one. great bit of goalkeeping from the young lads Wheels trying to avert the danger, but that was certainly a mistake. No real pressure. Picked up by Tavares, who drives from the halfway line into midfield, finds Hill on the right hand side, who takes a shot and it's balled in. Take a one deflection off of Mundell Smith. It's an early goal for Dagenham and Bridge in this second half. No real threat. Tavares just drove with the ball from the halfway line into the centre of the field. Played a nice three kicks in and around the box. He has set the ball nicely. Ferguson does have a lovely strike on him. He's proven that a couple of times this season already. And Charles. Charles isn't left footed, so this will be laid off. Tees up, lays it off to Ferguson. Ferguson takes one shot. And high. It drops into Barker, who can start again in that familiar point guard position. Dagenham back four had really good shape throughout this game. Every time Wilson kind of break, you see that bank of four with those two. Oh, he finds Campbell. Campbell plays it on Biero. Oh, Biero, that's going to be a foul. I think that's a fantastic tackle. He's tackled him, isn't he? I think it's fantastic diving tackle, last ditch. Pace, two up front. I mean, I agree with what you said about Tavon today. As I said, I've known him. I would leave him on the whole game. It's a dark one. He has managed to turn. He gets the ball across. Oh. And again, there's no reaction and ruthlessness from the Wheelstones forwards. Taken by Hezentala. Or Ling, rather. Ling throws. Has found oh. only the Wheelstone player who in turn has found Vincent. Vincent, the very busy Vincent, then finds. Kendall and Kendall for some reason hasn't attacked the goal with any real purpose, tries to clip the goalkeeper. And I would think if Dagenham got one more, that would be that. However, we have seen late drama over the world this season against Fylde and against York City as well. That's clipped in by Cook. Cook's headed by Campbell and he just glances it over. A quarter of a yard, not even a half a yard. Oh, nice turn by Olamola. Olamola! Oh. Tackle it almost went through to a dark one. Oh, with you, Max. I mean, that there was a handball but shout in our box. We don't understand. What's the, just come up with a distance which is measurable. And you can tell us. Oh, yes. Into Campbell. Campbell near post. Saved at the base of the post by Justin with his left foot. One with Clayden. That's a great knock by Justin who's found Vincent there in some open space who plays it back to Musa. Musa has a strike and Jed Ward has let the ball slip through his hands 2-0 to Dagenham I've got to say Jed Ward this weekend has not covered himself in glory when Vincent quickly the ball and Ivy is through here he's got the ball into the box he takes a heavy touch Jed Ward saves it and it's headed over in front of the goal by Charlie Kendall getting some out of this game but Daniel sat 10 in behind the ball Nola Mola comes inside has a shot hits the post unlucky strike from Ola Mola who finds Campbell Campbell has a shot and it's deflected being ruthless enough and if you don't take your chances mistakes are co the cause costly at this level then we've seen that against all the shots Saturday and here today against Dagenham and uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty to done on the training ground before next Saturday's fixture as the ball's whipped in it's found Cook Cook can't get his long frame to it and he ran down the clock but they've looked down taking the mickey or anything like that that's it, final whistle. Wilson nil, Dagger Redbridge two.